well, this is kind of somewhat interesting, but also an embarrassing uh, failure for the Western LGBT liberal cultural imperialists uh, trying to force Western uh, liberal degeneracy over in Qatar. So this is uh, this happened during, uh, I guess, one of the, the games or whatever. Because what's going on is they're trying to get people to wear these homosexual uh, rainbow armbands to protest uh, the laws of a sovereign country. But basically, uh, it says here on this website called Pink News, which is a, a LGBT website, it says, a World Cup fan aggressively removed from stadium by Qatari officials for wearing rainbow armband. Well, what you expect? They made very clear this stuff is not welcome in their country. <laughs> you know? I mean, I mean, it's like, you know, same thing when Russia passed the law banning uh, showing homosexuality propaganda to kids. So if you go there and get arrested for it, don't be surprised because it's against the law and they made that very clear. But you see these, these Western cultural imperialists just can't seem to really grasp that. Because again, it comes down to this, this, this mentality of Western exceptionalism and they're thinking their values should be universal. So-called values. Uh, but it says here in the article, American football fan Brian Davis claims he was aggressively removed from a World Cup stadium in Qatar for wearing a rainbow armband ahead of the USA team's game against Iran. Davis says he arrived in the Al Thamuma Stadium on Tuesday and passed, uh, and passed security, who he claimed said it was fine for him to wear the pro LGBTQ plus armband. But while he was sitting while he was sitting down and waiting for the kickoff, Davis claims he was told by another member of staff he couldn't wear the armband. Well, yeah, I mean the, they already made that very clear. Uh, I mean some of the staff who said he could wear it probably just weren't aware of of that, which is kind of weird itself. But you know. It's like this stuff is not welcome in their country. You know, what do you, like, what do you expect? You know, you go to the country, you break their laws, you're going to get in some trouble for that. But it says here, continuing on in the article, Davis refused and informed the staff he was allowed to wear it. Police then arrived on the scene and were very aggressive in removing him from his seat. He told Danish reporter Rasmus Thunholt, uh, they, they uh, he's referring to the police, came up and said, I had to take it off. I said, no, that's not true. Then these gentlemen came up and fairly aggressively grabbed me and twisted my arms back, unquote. Davis took a Twitter following the incident to post a picture of him with his thumb up caption, today was a bit eventful, but I'm ready for the game, okay? And before someone says, oh, you're, you're praising violence, I, I'm not praising violence, but simply just saying that if you're gonna go to these countries and break their laws, don't expect to not get in some trouble for that. And just because he was told it was okay uh, doesn't change the fact that they've been making it very clear this stuff is not welcome. You know, it's just plain and simple. But again, what you'll have is you'll have these these Western cultural imperialists go to these other countries and they'll do this to Russia as well, where they'll they'll essentially flaunt their Western cultural liberal degen uh, we see Western cultural degeneracy, and then are surprised when they get arrested by the police for break for, for knowingly breaking the laws. And it only, again, further shows this whole thing is just a Western, an alien Western liberal import. And I'm not even saying that, like, really the Western world is to blame. It's mostly just North America, because there are plenty of South American countries and uh, nations like Jamaica, for example, who are, are in Central America that don't really, are not too fond of this kind of stuff either. It's mostly just North America and Western Europe that is just so obsessed with flaunting this everywhere they go. And, and there are even plenty of people in these other, in these, like, North American countries, like in America, who aren't really too fond of this either. So... Really, uh, it's just a bunch of insanity. Uh, but again, you know, what's to be expected uh, from these Western cultural imperialists? So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.